Hey guys. Welcome to Cambo ST channel. And today video I will show you about how you can host your website for free. As you can see here. This is my example website for you to see. And this website I just uploaded to GitHub. So don't waste any time let's go to the video. First of all you need to write your HTML and CSS first. I can't show you how to write it but if you want to know about this you can learn by yourself. Now go to any browser that you have. For me I chose Chrome as a browser. In this video I will showing you two websites that you can host your website for free. One is GitHub and second one is Infinity Free. But now I'm showing you about GitHub first. Now click on GitHub website. And look at the top bar then click on sign up icon. Then write your own email. Then create a password that you want. And click continue. Enter your username that you want. Note, your username is like a domain name also. For example github.com slash your name. Type Y and hit continue. Now click on start puzzle. Then complete the puzzle to verify your account. After that click on create account. Go to your mailbox to verify the code. Then enter the code that you see. Complete this form by yourself. For me I will skip it. When your screen showing like this. Congratulation you have created an account successfully. Now look at the top bar again and click on plus icon. Then choose new repository. Type any name that you want. But remember that. It is available. In the description box you can put any information about your website also. But for me I just test it. So no need to do anything like that. After that click on create repository. Here you can see my website is https slash github.com slash my name slash repository dot git. So now I will show you about my folder that I want to upload. I put it on my desktop and name it HTML2. So you can see here these are my files that I want to upload right now. Go to the browser and click on uploading an existing file.
Then click on choose your files. Find your files location that you want to upload. Select your files and click open. Waiting until the upload is completed. And now scroll down until you see. Commit change then click on it to confirm. Then waiting the processing. When it done. Just go to the icon settings. Scroll down until you see github pages. Click on check it out here. And then you can change none to main. Click save. Here you can see the blue border on your website. You can wait until it changed to green. But for me I will test it for you when it is blue. As you can see it showing us that error 404 can not found. Go back to github website and refresh it again. Now it changed to green so you can go to refresh the website again to see what happened there. Cool. My website is showing up perfectly. But guys. Right now I want to show you one more thing about GitHub. When you go to the code option. And then you click this key. On your keyboard GitHub will go to Visual Studio Code automatically. It will running on this browser without an application. Like this you can see. So you can edit your website online without an application. Ok guys, that's all about github, and right now it's time for infinity free. Go to google and type infinity free. Then go to infinityfree.net. Click on register option to create your account. Enter your email and password. Then click agree icon. After that click on create new account to confirm. Ok guys. Now go to your email box to confirm it. If you don't see it then go to all mail and here. It is. Check it and confirm. Here you can see hosting account is successfully created. Now click on create account for host the website. You can create three accounts for free. When it show like this type your subdomain name. Also you can change domain extension. For example your subdomain name.rfrg. 
then search for your subdomain name to see it available or not. If it's showing like this that mean it is available. So after that type account username and account password to create it. Click on create account to confirm. Then click on open control panel. Select on I approve. Then go to the online file manager for upload the files. If you see like this don't do anything here. Just go to htdocs. Here you can see we have two files on htdocs. Then delete these files and upload new files. Click on upload button at the bottom bar, you can upload with zip file or folder also. But for me I choose upload file. Then find my files location that I want to upload. Select all files and click open. Wait until the files are uploaded to htdocs. Here you can see my files are uploaded. So if you want to edit it online you can also do it by click on html file or css to change it also. But now I'm not gonna do that. Go back to infinity free account. To see your website is uploaded or not. Here you can see sometime it's take you about 72 hours to hosting your website. But you can test it by go to your web address to see what happened there. Here is my web address. Now you can see my websites is successfully uploaded. But I want to tell you one more thing about GitHub and Infinity Free. You see here at the top bar on my website that host by Infinity Free is not secure. But if I go to my website that host by GitHub it is secure. So yeah guys you choose it by yourself which one do you prefer to. Thanks you for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe guys. See you in the next video.